Oh man, nothing feels good than an ice cold beer on a warm day. But what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Feels like forever since I posted a video. I think I posted last Thursday. I know I didn't post Monday. Today is Thursday again. I know I didn't post a video. Good reason for that. I am now no longer in an apartment. As you guys can see, I mean, I don't have much, so don't judge me. I don't have too much. Literally, this is like the walk-in room, TV room, whatever you want to call it. Just a TV, couch, my dogs, chilling. And that's all I really got right now. But I got to say, it was perfect timing because if you live in the Tri-State area, you know last yesterday, last night, we got hit with a really bad storm that caused a ton of flooding. A ton of flooding. New York City was underwater. Um, Queens got the lighting. Sorry, sorry. The lighting is bad. Queens got hit with... Um, the storm too and it was pretty bad and there was a lot of flooding going on um my car when i lived in the area that i lived in in queens it was an underground parking garage and all those pretty much got flooded my cousin who lives two blocks away from where i did parks underground he said they've been pumping out the garage all morning he hasn't seen his car supposedly it's about tire level so i'm hoping it's not terrible damage but I really, really got lucky. It couldn't have been better timing. My car wasn't there. Now my car is here. It's got its own beautiful parking spot. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. But anyway, it's nice. I don't have to go to parking garages anymore. If I want to do install video, which actually today is going to be one, I don't have to go anywhere. I can shoot this shit in my driveway, which is sick. Honestly, I'm so excited. I, uh, it's just... It's a long time coming. I was living in Queens for probably six to seven years. Um, I grew up in Long Island. I'm back on Long Island, and I'm honestly grateful to finally be back here. But anyway, that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is you should buy this to protect your Mopar, Jeep SRT, Dodge, um, any of the Mopar cars, uh, Chryslers, you know, your Hellcats, anything. It's just a preventative. I mean, I'm not saying they're not gonna see your car with this, but it's a good preventative. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Let me go grab it. All right, guys, I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. It's just a couple of empty beers. Don't go crazy. But here it is, this black box. And if I flip it open, you can see I have my keys in there, which I have my main key, and two spares and actually when i bought the car when i bought the car um i didn't know there was a spare hiding in it i looked all over the place if you have a jeep you know in that uh the flip up area by the cup holders like that flip up where the usbs are it's like a little hidden shelf right above that it kind of goes like deep under there and it's right above it you, you can't see it you gotta like kind of feel it with your hands and it goes back there. There was a hidden key in there the whole time. And I didn't know, they just gave me one key when I bought the car and they're like, sorry, that's all we got. And then one day I was uh, leaving the parking garage and I, I remember I had the key in my car and the guy went to go start it and it turned on. And I was like, what the hell? Like how did my car turn on? And it was because the whole time there was a key in there. I went crazy. I tore the whole car apart. I looked in the glove box, the center, the trunk, uh, under the seats. Um, down like under the front seats where like the battery is i was like where the hell is this key and then all of a sudden i was just like feeling around over there and i found this little secret compartment and there was the extra key the whole time and the dealership didn't know which is pretty crazy um i didn't know so i ended up buying another key and then i ended up finding it so that's why i got three keys now but it's all good at least i have two spares whatever but the point of the video is this box which i bought on amazon I bought this on Amazon. Listen, don't judge me, people. I see trash bags in the back. Don't judge me. I literally just moved in um, on Friday. Today's Thursday. It's We're still in the phase of unpacking everything. It takes time. You know, every day I've been doing stuff. Um, you know, it's just, it's been a lot. But, you know, don't judge, man. Just don't. But anyway, so that's the point of this box. I'm going to post the link. But let's go test it out. Let's go see if this works. Let's go see if it'll unlock the car, start the car, whatever. Let's go, let's go, let's go check this out. All right, so supposedly the whole point of this box is to prevent um, like intruders stealing the signal from your key fob. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna see if it works. So right here, my keys are already in there. 
So let's test it out. It's right here on top of the car. It's right there. Let's try to unlock the car. Let's see if it works. All right, so it's not picking up any signal, which is good. So let me open it up now. You can see me taking it out. Where is my main key? So here is the main key, right here. You see it? I'm gonna put it on top. Let's see if I can open the car door now. All right, so maybe that's not a good test. Let me put it in my hand. All right, now it now it unlock. That's weird. I'm surprised it doesn't work. So I locked it there. So it's kind of weird. The key was right there, and I still can't do it. Huh. It's pretty interesting. But anyway, so that's the point of the box. Um, now let's go around the car. Hope you guys, you guys like my shirt. S R T S R T Mopar or no car. I think she, I think she misspelled it. Brooke got me the shirt for my birthday. Oh, Mopar, no car. She was close though. We got to give her credit. She was pretty close. Um. All right, so let's do it now. So now I'm in the car. So you can see unlock, lock it if I want to. So obviously I can start the car right now. I have the key out. The car should start no problem. Um, you know, let's just, uh, I don't want to scare my dog, so I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now, but obviously I can start the car. Let's put the key back in the box. All right, box is locked. So now let's try to turn on the car. And it's saying no key fob detected. Hopefully you guys caught that. Let's try it again. Foot on the brake, press the button. Now it's saying something different. Push button with key fob. Brake. Hmm. Well, before it said no key fob. So hopefully you guys saw that. Um, but as you guys can see, I mean, this is a good deterrent. So when I go to sleep at night or I'm not using my car, I put my key in the box. So no one's hacking into my, no one's coming in my driveway, no one's hacking the signal to my car. Um, there's other ways, obviously you can get like a, what do you call it, uh, a kill switch. Um, I'm, I'm gonna look into that maybe, because now my car is not in a parking garage, so it's not 24 seven being watched after. Um, but I do have a security system. I do have one point at my car, so I, I should be good to go. Um, I do bag the car when I'm sitting in the driveway. It's not bagged right now, but I, I do bag, I do air it out. That way it's just kind of a little more of a deterrent. It takes them a little while. They can't just really drive over with the car. They got to kind of, I mean, it, that's really like a two second thing. So, I mean, every second can help. If I can hear the car turn on, hopefully I can get out of here. If someone's trying to steal it, you know, who, I mean, who knows? But, um, so yeah, this box definitely comes in handy. So I'm going to post a link in the description. It was cheap. It was like 20 bucks. Um, and honestly, so far it's a really good investment. I mean, I know other people use like tin foil. They use some other stuff. I mean, this is just nice, small. It doesn't look like it's out of place. Just keep it right there wherever you keep your keys. I could just open it up, grab a key. I'm on the way. So... I definitely recommend one. Like I said, it's not a necessity. You don't have to go out and buy one, but if you want to prevent people stealing your car and just want another alternative, definitely worth it. All right, so I'm gonna to try to lock the car. Key in the box, I'm right next to it. Just like that, key box in my hand. It's not locking. So that's a good sign. Take the key out. So now I got the key in my hand. I'm gonna lock the car. It locked. You guys definitely heard that. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know today is Saturday, I'm posting the video today. Um, it took me a little while to finish the other video and finally edit and do everything and I apologize for that. But definitely hit the bell below, that way you have your post notifications on so whenever I post, you're well aware. And like I said, this little black box is just a little deterrent. It's a little extra protection. It'll, you know, it just gives you a little better sense of feeling that you know you can prevent your car being stolen so definitely check it out like i said i'm gonna leave it in the description uh i think i paid like 20 or 25 bucks for it i'm not positive but uh definitely check it out and stay tuned because the next video i'm going to be installing a custom 
strut bar that I got done for my Jeep specifically. It looks so sick. It's um, it's definitely going to add some more flair into the engine bay, so I'm excited about that. So stay tuned. Um, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>